guys, how you doing? My name is Echo and welcome to this week's Seed of the Week. Now this week's Seed is for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. What I'm going to be doing every single week is one for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 and one for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So do look out for that. This is for next gen, but it may also work on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. So let's get into this. The seed is Minecraft, but it's it's spelled quite different. It's spelled all in capital letters, but there is a space in between each letter. Now, the reason why I like this seed is because we have something awesome at spawn. Now, this map is a 36 times bigger world, but I'm just gonna be showing you the first map. And as you can see, it is covered by a lot of jungle and a lot of snow. Alongside, at the top right of the map, we have some awesome things as well. It also has pretty cool things at spawn. So as you can see, this is where you do spawn. The coordinates are there on your screen. Um, and as you can see, there's something over there. And as you can see blatantly, there is a temple. So that's not that far. It means that you're gonna get some good things straight away. Now there's something underneath us that I'm gonna be showing you in this episode. I thought I'd dig down and see what we could find. And we found a spawn mine shaft. So yes, there is a spawn mine shaft on this seed. I'm just gonna grab some torches because we did find some cave spider spawners. We did find some awesome loot and it really is a big, big one. Now, as you can see, there is uh, spiders around here, but that's not the cave spiders one. Uh, it really is a massive mine shaft. So you're gonna be doing a lot of exploring. Uh, you can see it goes all the way down here as well. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be lots of things to do as you can see gold there. So be really, really careful at the spawn because I suggest you guys grabbing some tools, some armor, uh, and as you can see, I love these empty rooms. I really do. Let's go up here. Let's see what's up here. Let's see if we can find any uh, of the spider spawners or any chests for you guys. But it's, it's really creepy. It's one of the biggest mine shafts I've found in a long time. And it's at spawn, which makes it even better. As you can see, all the spiders making loads of noise. Uh, I believe there's a chest down here. There sure is. So let's see what's inside this chest. We have, oh wow. We've got diamonds, four iron, and two bread. Uh, the coordinates for that is 154x, y is 33, and z222. Let's continue our journey. Let's see if we can find any more. As you can see, they're just massive. It really is a big, big mine shaft, so it's good for exploring. Um, hopefully, we can stay away from the cave spiders for now, but I'm going to leave the rest of you guys to explore it. Let me know what you do think about that. And I always encourage you guys to leave seeds on my videos as well, because I may use your seed in the next episode. So if you know any awesome seeds, be sure to leave them down below uh, with what it does have, or you can email me them, and the email is on screen right now. So if you want to email me the seeds that you guys do know, be sure to link some pictures or the coordinates on what you guys do know. And tell me if it's on Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. So moving on from there, uh, where we do spawn, we have a ravine now a ravines are always good and i love ravines because you get a lot of loot as you can see we've got iron there we've got coal uh, and i'm pretty sure this is going to link into like a cave somewhere so be very careful the majority of mine shafts uh, sorry the majority of ravines lead you into uh, awesome cave system so obviously you guys know what a ravine is and you guys can explore that in your own time and as you can see it's a combination to this one so it's a really really big one it goes all the way around there uh, so yeah, moving on from there, we have one temple, a pretty small desert biome, and as you can see, it's covered by lots and lots and lots of jungle, so I was very surprised that this temple did spawn here, so let's check it out, let's see what we do have inside of this temple, we've already got some diamonds, let's break this, oops, gotta be very, very careful there, um, we've got rotten flesh, gold, fire aspect, not bad, and bones, we've got more bones and more iron, we have some gold, some bones, some bones, and some rotten flesh. We have some iron and some rotten flesh. So not the best, but not the worst. Anything free in these are always good. Uh, and I would suggest you guys taking them as well. Now, I haven't explored this jungle as much as I would like to. So I'm going to leave that to you guys. I'm going to let you guys explore this jungle because it's huge. So you will find some desert temples, sorry, some jungle temples. Uh, I'm pretty sure that I always get them mixed up. I'm, I'm pretty confident you will find some in there. Um, I want to show you something in this seed as well. It's covered by a lot of extreme hill biomes. You'll notice this throughout the seed. Uh, when you do come across a village, you will start to um, have some use because that means you can start to mine out this and find some emeralds. Now, something I found in this seed, very, very unique, very different. I'm going to load this terrain here. Um, not only slightly off the map, on the right, we've got a village here. But... There's something unique around here. Now, I'm going to show you guys what it is. 
I really did not notice this until like the, the last minute I've seen it. And as you can see here, this is a hidden temple. Look, it's a hidden temple. Look how well hidden that temple is. I only noticed because of the orange was sticking out, but a really, 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 really well hidden temple um, into the terrain. You can see here that that's a, another part of it as well. So I was lucky to find this and you guys found a little bonus there. So let's go down here. Let's see what we do find inside this one. Hopefully it's going to be a little bit better than the last one. Oh, and it looks like it's been... Uh, Covered by water. Oh well. All right. Well, anyway, we're gonna break down here. We're gonna see what we do have to deal with. So let's go. Come on. Hopefully, this one's gonna give us a little bit more loot. So we've got a lot of rotten flesh in here. Um, we've got lots of rotten flesh. We've got another enchanting book, protect child, um, protection. And that says we've got bones, gold, bones, gold, and rotten flesh. And we've got iron, bones, gold, and rotten flesh. So that's quite a lot. So yeah, guys, this seed really is awesome. As you can see, this is where the actual entrance is. Uh, I just thought it was really unique to show you guys, I definitely had to show you that little feature, but look, the fact is, just slightly off to the right next to it, um, you will see a village, so that means you can start to trade with villages, and I've only explored the first part of this, so imagine if I was to go all the way out here, I'm pretty sure I would find another biome, such as sand biomes, we'd find more temples, more villages, um, strongholds, all the good stuff that you do find in any of the sea, but I like to show you guys what you can get from the start, it means you can adventure in an awesome world. So guys, I've been Echo. Oh, it looks like we've got another ravine over here. So normally these have some great hidden things as well. Uh, as you can see, it looks awesome. I love ravines, I love ravines, and I love playing Minecraft. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this. Be sure to hit that like button. If you know any awesome seeds, leave them in the comment section or email me them. I've been Echo, and have a great day.